E aí, pessoal, sejam bem-vindos a Persona 5 Royal. E acabamos de sair do Palácio do Madarame com tudo feito, tintim por tintim. O máximo que dava pra fazer nesse dia. Como é que nós vamos chegar por essa porta? Eu não sei. Você acha que há algum tipo de off switch em algum lugar? Looks like this is where I come in. Mona? I have a suspicious place in mind. Remember? This shack is the basis for Madarame's palace. I actually scouted it out the last time we were here. Oh, so this was your plan from the start? Correct. You only went scouting because you were bored. So, where's this suspicious place? It's on the second floor. I noticed an unnaturally hefty lock on a door up there. If it's locked, that means there's something in there he doesn't want people to see. But don't we want to be opening the door in the palace? Yes. And we're going to do that by opening the real one in front of Madarame's eyes. Basically, we're going to change his cognition that the door is unopenable. In other words, when we open the one in Madarame's house, that area in his palace will open on its own? I'm not really getting it. Uh, is that gonna work? Trust me, there's no chance it won't open. I think. You understand, don't you, Joker? Well, yeah, but... Why don't you trust me? It's worth a try. But even then, there's still that hefty lock we have to deal with in reality, right? Ugh, that'll be a breeze. Just give me a hairpin and I'll handle it. It will take some time, though. Doing everything by myself in front of Madarame would be impossible. If only there was someone who could distract him for a while. Huh? Oh. Oh! Man, how are we even gonna get into his house? <laughs> We'd get reported for sure if we force ourselves in. What? I guess the only way is having you go nude. What? Fancy you say that, Ryuji. I was just thinking the same thing. This isn't funny! I'm not saying you should really get naked. It's simply the best excuse for you to enter Madarame's house without raising suspicions. So we'd like for you to play the role of decoy, Lady An. This is way too sudden! I mean, I don't even know where the locked door is! Don't worry, I'll accompany you. But that's still technically only me! Worst comes to worst, what if I get found out? We can run into the palace. Or something. Is that really gonna work? I mean, you're not giving me much confidence in this plan! Do I have to be the bait? You know, uh, um, nothing. All you gotta do is trick Yusuke, have him take you to that room, then just open the door. You make it sound so easy. But if there's no other way, I don't, uh, I don't, I don't have a choice. Ugh, God! Fine, I'll do it! For justice! Seriously, you better pull this off! If it's for your sake, Lady On, I won't stop scratching even if all my claws were to break. We'll be counting on you, Morgana. Don't let Yusuke notice you, alright? If he tries to force my clothes off, I'll tear that house down! I'm really gonna lose it if we do all this and the palace door doesn't open, got it? We're working to get dirt on that guy's crimes either way. It won't go to waste. All right, let's get down and dirty tomorrow. Tomorrow? Earlier the better. Um, but uh, will Kitagawa-kun agree? I don't know, just say something like, I really need it to be tomorrow. That should work, yeah? Okay. Deixa isso comigo.
Eu vou abrir aquela porta bem em frente aos olhos dele. Ou oh, então a Eno vai pousar noi. A gente sabe que você não quer isso, Mona. Oh, você falou com o Yusuke? Uhum. Ele pediu pra eu ir lá amanhã. É, maravilha! Ele caiu na isca! Ahn... Um, eu tenho mesmo que fazer isso... É o único jeito, é... Sinto te informar. Eu sei, mas... Cara, mas que droga! Nós temos que abrir a porta e fazer o Madarome ver, não é? Sim. Morgana disse que isso vai mudar a cognição dele. Eu não entendo, mano. Ah, e... Outra coisa. Nos avisa se alguma coisa estranha acontecer enquanto a gente estiver lá no palace. A gente vai correr pra você. Pode deixar. A palace is a reflection of how its owner views the real world. So if Madarame's cognition of reality changes, it's only natural that his palace would be affected. And all jokes aside, we really will need Lady On to strip for Yusuke. It's the only way. É. É uma das minhas partes favoritas, poder mudar a cognição da pessoa pra mudar também no palace. Eu acho isso muito interessante. É uma das... Uh! Ainda tem aqui. Tem clientes ainda. Uh, quando tem clientes no Leblanc, você não vai poder fazer nada, a não ser que eles vão embora. Então... É, isso é uma droga, mas se eu quiser que eles vão embora, é só falar com eles, então. Galera, tem como, por favor? Ei, hey, vamos embora. Esse lugar já está fechando. O quê? Mas eu quero assistir a TV. Tem um especial do de Detetive Príncipe, a Cat. Uh, eles ainda estão nas notícias. Você vai chegar a tempo de ver a notícia, o a Cat. Além disso, você pode ver o rosto dele quando quiser. Aquele garoto está na TV bastante ultimamente. Tá bom, mas tem como vocês irem embora? Obrigado. De nada, Sojo. Mas agora é hora das minhas palavras cruzadas. É a minha parte favorita do dia. Qual será a palavra de hoje? O pa... que? Ah, que eu jamais acertaria isso, mesmo se eu soubesse o que, que essa expressão significasse. May Blues é basicamente uma coisa que é muito usada no Japão pra expressar mal-estar. Porém, não fazia o menor sentido eu saber disso, tá legal? No Japão, May Blues é o um nome dado a quando as mudanças de estação e número de pessoas é, fica muito pra baixo no, depois dos feriados, ou durante os feriados no final de abril. É tipo, é... É o, é o fim de festa, May Blues, basicamente. Termos parecidos são usados por todo mundo. Os alunos nos Estados Unidos chamam de Setembro Blues, depois das férias de verão. É, é, é basicamente isso. Nos Estados Unidos é Setembro Azul, aqui é fim de festa. <risos> e ok, agora que eu tenho bastante tempo livre ainda, eu posso sair pra fazer algumas coisinhas. Eu não posso sair pra fazer coisinha nenhuma. Então... Sojo? O que você tem pra hoje? Não confie nas pessoas tão facilmente. Quando a coisa fica difícil, eles vão só te apunhalar pelas costas. Você me ouviu bem? Sabe as palavras, Sojo. Sabe as palavras. Ó, oh, já que eu não posso sair, eu já aumentei um pouco do meu knowledge. Mas que não custa nada também aumentar um pouco da minha pro efficiency. E... Eu queria aumentar meu kindness, na real, mas eu acho que... É, meu fertilizante é simplesmente muito bom. Então vamos aumentar a nossa okay. pro-efficiency aqui. Eu deveria ter salvo antes pra ficar fazendo software reset, mas... Eu não tô tão hardcore assim nisso. A gente tem bastante tempo pra fazer o que quiser nesse jogo. Um, eu acho que eu posso fazer um lockpick ou um go home. Hum. Deixa eu ver quanto de material eu uso no lockpick. É o mesmo material, vamos usar o lockpick então. É bem melhor. Eu nunca usei o Goho M. Acho que só usei o Goho M uma vez em toda a minha vida. Em Persona 5, então. Não tem porquê. Por favor, me dá pra Fist, me dá pra Fist, me dá pra Fist. Bastante pra Fist. Nice. É o bastante. Eu aceito. Well, ok. Vamos pra cama. So it's you. You did use this line now that I think about it. I was contacted by Takamaki-san last night. She's accepted the nude modeling proposition. That's nice, of course, but I hope you aren't conspiring anything. I 
don't understand. Nevertheless, I'll call the police if you try anything. Remember that. Hum. Eu não sei se você está com tanta moral assim para falar, digo. Foi você quem stalkeou uma garota estranha na rua e pediu para ela posar nua para você, cara. Ah, sim. O grande artista Madaram está fazendo uma exibição em Shibuya. Eu já fui ver alguns dos seus trabalhos anteriores, mas uau, eles são incríveis. Eu vi umas entrevistas também. O homem é bem apessoado. É raro ver um cavaleiro artista como ele. É, ele, eles costumam ser bastante excêntricos nesse meio. Falando nisso, você não parece nem um pouco ligado no mundo da arte, Turner Khan. É, tirando o fato que eu faço faculdade de belas artes, mas até aí tudo bem. Qual artista famoso Yuki Oi do período Eido é dito que já se mudou mais de 100 vezes? Ah, pff, eu não precisava nem fazer faculdade pra saber isso. Na verdade, não é nem o tipo de coisa que você sabe na faculdade. É o Katsushika, mano. Não, não é mal. Ah, eu acho que eu te subestimei, Turner. Parece que você sabe uma coisa ou outra mesmo. É. O Roku Sai tinha o hábito de se mudar bastante. Mas ele também mudava de nome, a beça. Pelo menos umas 30 vezes em sua vida. É, só faltava ter dinheiro pra fazer umas 30 plásticas também. Eu aposto que ele faria se ele pudesse. Seu interesse era apenas em sua arte. Então ele sempre foi muito pobre. Que fazia ele não se importar muito com as roupas que vestia e tudo mais. A maioria dos artistas são assim hoje em dia, pra falar a verdade. Hoje em dia não, mas... Desde sempre, conforme a história, a maioria deles... Não liga muito pro, pro seu vestimento e tudo mais. Ou pra luxos. Na verdade, a casa do Madarome é bem modesta também. Todos os artistas do passado e presente colocam sua arte em primeiro lugar, no lugar da fama. Foi exatamente o que eu disse. Ele rouba o trabalho dos seus alunos e faz eles sofrerem. Ele não é nenhum mestre da arte, ele é só um homem abusivo. Nós vamos pegar ele, custa o que custar. É... Como mesmo? Ah, ok. Bem, a Lilian disse que iríamos para casa de Madarami hoje. On, we're gonna, we're counting on you. Me and him are banned from going there, so all we can do is wait here. No, you two have something different you'll need to do. What do you mean? You have to wait inside the palace. Once that door opens, sneak in and look for some kind of control room. We need to make sure the door can't close anymore after it's open. Oh, I get it. Okay, you can leave that to us. To think you'd really come. I assumed you were lying when you contacted me. I'm sorry it was so sudden. Oh, it's not a problem. But, as I told you yesterday, Sensei will be returning in about 20 or 30 minutes. So, um, I'm sorry if that causes some anxiety on your part. That's why I'm here today, damn it! What was that? Oh, no! It was nothing! By the way... Have you gained some weight? You think so? I weigh the same as always. Maybe I'm bloated today. So then, can you, um, get ready here? I need to take my clothes off, right? Yes, please. I'm embarrassed. Uh, could you look the other way? <sighs> oh. That was tight. Tight? No, oh, I'm doing this for art. Don't look over here, okay? Hey, your sensei is coming back soon, right? I believe so. Hmm. Do you think we could do this somewhere else then? A little more atmosphere would be lovely. Well, this should be good enough. But wouldn't a room with a lock be a bit better? A lock? <laughs> Must a girl say more? But the only one with a lock is Sensei's room. Then why not there? 
I can't intrude. Besides, I don't have the key. <sighs> he says he doesn't have the key. It's okay. That's why I'm here. I'll just use this hairpin. Takamaki-san, are you about... You were wearing all this? D don't you think it's cool today? <laughs> I suppose so. The sun is starting to set. Right? That's why a change of location would be nice. I mean, I'm gonna take it all off. True. It might make for a better picture if I can brighten my model's mood. Uh-huh, that's right. She may even be willing to try out various expressive poses for use in a dynamic composition. What kind of poses? Radeon, you have to act. Get back in character. <clears throat> Let's go. I was just starting to get in the mood. Wait, if you wander around, Sensei will... Oh, it's so hot. We really can't use any other room. Hey, why not this one? Please wait! I'm counting on you, Mona. Are they seriously gonna be able to pull this off? She was saying stuff like, I'll just seduce him with my acting, but that sounds out of her league. Plus, we ain't got one sign this place is gonna open. Isn't Matarame coming home soon? On top of that, even if Mona's able to unlock the door, how's he gonna show it to Matarame? And then even if they do show it open, any normal person would just close it right up again. Doesn't that mean we only got a few seconds to get in? To be blunt, won't it be a miracle if this works? Yeah. It's almost time. Please, can you just wait and... What's past here? That's... So the door Mona mentioned is up ahead. I keep telling you, you can't! You're still not done? It's hard to do this with cat paws. Uh, is something the matter? Oh, um... So... What is this room? It's a storage area for old paintings. Storage? Hey, Kitagawa-kun. Why don't we do it in here? I won't be embarrassed if we go somewhere nobody can find us. Only Sensei can go in there. Please. I want to be alone with you. Somewhere, like, quiet. <laughs> you know, where we won't get interrupted. Is he really going to buy that terrible act? Stay focused. Hmm? Oh, it's just so frustrating that my feelings aren't getting through to you. Kitagawa-kun, do you not like girls like me? No, th that's not true. How is that working on him? Please, we can continue this inside. Sure. I mean, no, we can't go in there. Uh, it's locked anyway, so... Fine, this is too embarrassing. I'm leaving. But... Let's just do it in here, okay? What do I do? I'm home. S sensei Yusuke? All right, it's open. Huh? What are you doing there? It's... it's not what it looks like. What? 
Not in there. Uh, nothing's happening. I wonder what's. Hmm? It's off. They seriously did it. Yeah, for real. Let's go. Como eu falei, essa é uma das minhas partes favoritas. O fato de você mudar sua cognição no mundo real pra cognição no seu palace é, é impressionante. O quão bem pensado é tudo isso, sabe, de persona? Eu, eu, eu gosto muito da ideia de cognição e tudo mais. É um termo que, infelizmente, não vai ser abordado. Aliás, felizmente, não vai ser abordado nos próximos jogos. Seria muito repetitivo. Mas, enfim. É, é muito bem feito aqui nesse jogo. E eu teria muita coisa pra falar se... Eu pudesse ficar aqui falando e falando o tempo inteiro. Mas nós temos uma Cheryl que aparentemente quer lutar, então. Vamos dar o que ela quer. Ei, hey, o que, que a gente faz? É, se eu pudesse, pessoalmente eu diria pra gente voltar aqui depois. Porque nós estamos no hard e eu e o Ryuji sozinhos pode ser um pouquinho difícil. Embora a gente esteja bastante bem equipado e com um nível um pouquinho alto. Na verdade, é um nível ok pro nível mais, pro level mais... Eu acho que vai ser um problema se a gente não lutar contra ela. Nós temos que aproveitar a chance que o Mon e a E nos deram, então... Vamos só descer a surra nessa Cheryl e... Liberar caminho, por que não? Vem aqui! Sorry. Yo, você tem que nos deixar passar. Agora! Hã? Quem são vocês? Ah, por essas roupas. Vocês devem ser os bandidinhos que o Lorde Madarame disse. They got past the security system? You cannot go any further. You are trespassing on Lord Matarame's territory. You guys ain't got nothing on us. I'm more scared of screwing up and having on yell at me. Ok, agora nós estamos contra o Nui. Um demônio que eu pessoalmente não ficaria muito feliz de ir contra, principalmente só com o Ryuji no hard. Ele é um demônio que já passou por bastante mudança, assim como todos os outros, mas esse daqui em específico eu me lembro por motivos de não sei o que, mas ele reflete eletricidade, ou ele é forte contra eletricidade, ele já teve fraqueza contra raio e tudo mais, mas aqui em Persona 5 ele tem fraqueza a fogo, então você apenas quer spamar fogo aqui, o que é uma pena, porque estamos com o Ryuji e ele não tem fogo com a gente, seria muito melhor se fosse a Ana aqui com a gente pra poder nos ajudar com os Zags. Mas ao mesmo tempo, se a Ian estivesse aqui no lugar dele, quem estaria posando no lá pro Yusuke seria o Ryuji. Eu acho que isso seria ainda mais estranho. Então, vamos só ficar com ele aqui mesmo. Ele nos dá um tarukajo que dá bastante dano extra pra gente. E podemos descer a surra nesse no. Ele não tá nos dando muito dano também. Tem que tomar cuidado com esse Maíra. Né, tá muito tranquilo esse cara. Ele não é de nada. Ryuji, pode dar uma surra nele. E agora, deixa que eu acabo com isso. Coisas vão ser difíceis só com nós dois aqui. Seria uma droga se fôssemos encontrados por outra Cheryl, então... Vamos logo atrás desse sistema de segurança. Takamaki-san, isso é bad. Are these the lights? Huh? What the... Isn't this Sayuri? Why are there so many of them? I have no idea. Get out! Sensei, what is the meaning of this? I suppose I can't keep quiet now that you've seen this. Truth be told, I'm in severe debt. I handmade these Sayuri copies and have been selling them through a special connection of mine. But why? The real Sayuri was stolen by one of my pupils long ago. I assume they begrudged my strictness. That moment was quite a shock for me. Since then, I've been mired in a terrible artist block. Because of this distress, some of my pupils handed their ideas over to me from time to time. Uh. I knew I couldn't keep that up, so I attempted to recreate the Sayuri a number of times. However, it resulted in nothing more than replicas. 
That's when someone came to buy the paintings, knowing well they weren't original. It's all my fault. I couldn't pay the price of being famous. As expectations for me rose, it reached a point where I had no choice but to keep making them. I needed money to further your talents. I ask that you please forgive your cowardly teacher. Please, don't. Hold on, something doesn't add up. If the original painting got stolen, how did you make copies of it? I happened to find a finely detailed photograph of it in an art book. So you managed to sell copies of a photo of the original? I'm not sure how this works, but don't people who buy paintings generally have a keen eye for the fine arts? Mm, this sounds like a lie to me. What would you know? Something just doesn't feel right. Lady On! This one seems different. Sayuri. This... This is the real Sayuri. But you just said a moment ago that it was stolen. That's a replica. No. It's nothing of the sort. This painting kept me going. It's the reason I made it this far. Sensei. Don't tell me. It's fake. Yes, a counterfeit. I heard there was a counterfeit spreading around, so I bought it. So you're telling me the actual artist behind the painting bought a counterfeit? That's pushing it. You're lying, Sensei. Please, just tell us the truth. You too? I've reported you to my private security company. What? I had it set up to deal with some problematic paparazzi, but I never thought it'd come in so handy. Please, wait. Let's talk about this. You can talk all you want to the police. That includes you, Yusuke. Lady On, let's run! A cat? Where did it... There's no point. They'll be here within two minutes. Takamaki-san! Yeah, let's go! Hein? Anda logo, nós temos que desligar o sistema. Tudo bem? Uh, eu vejo com o meu olhinho uma sala de segurança bem aqui. Com um botão pra abrir. E provavelmente é naquele monitor ali. Então, qual desses é o sistema de segurança? Aquele notebook bem ali, que tá ligado convenientemente para a gente. Ah, oh, ok. Seria interessante se no Royal tivesse uns minigamezinhos pra isso. Digo, não seria nada, tipo uma palavra cruzada e tal, funcionasse igual. Eu não ligaria. É, seria uma adição mais interessante também. Mas, <risos> não tem problema não ter também. Enfim, vamos sair daqui agora que nós desativamos o sistema de segurança. Ei, hey, quem está aí? A droga! Vamos dar fora! Uh-oh! Alright. Beleza, parece que o sistema foi desligado mesmo Vamos voltar logo e nos encontrar com os outros I hope those two managed to get away You two are... I don't recall ever seeing this cat costume before, though. What is this place? We're inside Madarame's heart. Inside Sensei's heart? I'm sorry, Takamaki-san. But are you sure you're feeling okay? She ain't lying. This is what that bastard truly feels. He's nothing but a greed-filled money-grubber. Enough of this rubbish! 
Kitagawa-kun, didn't it cross your mind that something wasn't right about Matarame? <sighs> That's... Uh... You may not want to believe it, but this is another reality as viewed through Matarame's eyes. This is his true nature. This repulsive world? Just who are all of you? I guess you could say we're a group that changes the hearts of rotten crooks. If everything you say is true, then the sensei I know doesn't exist. You gotta snap out of it. Still, he has kept me safe these past ten years. My gratitude for that won't just disappear. You're gonna forgive him? At this rate, you'll... Are you okay? I'm trying to be rational about this, but my emotions are overwhelming me. Sorry, but we don't have time to dawdle. The security level's gone through the roof. We need to get out of here at once! Here. That said, we have an amateur with us now. Let's try to avoid fighting as much as possible. So this is inside of Sensei's heart? A vain museum such as this? With this spot aí, Kitago. Sei que é muita informação pra você ingerir assim de repente, mas... As coisas ainda vão ficar bem piores no decorrer desse palace. Ah, uh, esse painting! Do you recognize it? We were thinking these might be his past pupils or something. But... Why are there paintings of them here? Technically, those aren't actually paintings. They're the pupils themselves. Matarame saw them as objects, so that's what they are in here. Oh, and, uh, we found yours, too. <sighs> we'll talk more later. For now, let's get out of here. <gasps> the exit is right there! <laughs> Who is it? What the? <laughs> Talk about bullshit clothes. First a king, now some kind of shogun. Welcome to the museum of the master artist, Madarame. Huh? Sensei? Is that you? That attire? Disgusting. This... this is all one big lie, isn't it? My usual ragged attire is nothing but an act. Besides a famous person living in that shack, I have another home. Under a mistress's name, of course. <laughs> How naive! If the Sayuri was stolen, why was it in the storage room? And if you had the real one, why make copies? If it's really you, Sensei, please tell me. Foolish child, you still don't see? The painting being stolen was just a false rumor I spread. It was all a perfectly calculated staging. What do you mean? Let me see. How does this sound? I found the real painting, but it can't go public. You can have it for a special price, though. Ha <laughs> ha! How's that for preferential treatment? Art snobs will eat it up and pay good cash at that! No. The value of art is purely illusion. What's the matter with providing that illusion to eager customers? Though I doubt a brat like you would ever come up with such a brilliant scheme. You keep going on and on about money this, money that. No wonder you ended up with this disgusting museum. You're supposed to be an artist, right? 
Aren't you ashamed of plagiarizing other people's work? Art is nothing but a tool. A tool to gain money and fame! You helped me greatly as well, Yusuke. God, pisses me off. That's your teacher. But what about the people who believe in you? Who think you're a master artist? I'll tell you this alone, Yusuke. If you wish to succeed in this world, I'd advise you don't rise against me. Do you believe anyone could find success with my objection holding them down? <laughs> to think I was under the care of this wretched man. You thought I took you in out of the goodness in my heart? Plucking talented yet troubled artists allows me to find promising pupils and take their ideas. After all, it's much easier to steal the futures of children who can't fight back. I can't believe this. Livestock are killed for their hide and meat. This is no different, you fool. But I tire of this little chat. It's time that I... You are unforgivable. Mm. It doesn't matter who you are. I won't forgive you! So, you repay my keeping you around for all these years with ingratitude? You damn brat! Then, dispose of these thieves! Get back! How amusing. Huh? <laughs> it seems the truth is stranger than fiction, huh? Kitagawa-kun? I wanted to believe it wasn't true. I had clouded my vision for so long. My eyes were truly blind. Blind and unable to see the true self behind this one horrible man. Have you finally come to your senses? <laughs> How foolishly you averted your eyes from the truth. A deplorable imitation of the good. Best you part from that aspect of yourself. Let us now forge a contract. I am thou, thou art I. The world is filled with both beauty and vice. It is time you teach people which is which. Very well. Come! Go him on! A breathtaking sight. Imitations they may be, but together they make a fine spectacle. Though the flowers of evil blossom, be it known, abominations are fated to perish! This is impressive! Who do you think you are? The price for your insolence will be death! Where are my guards? Kill them all! The children who adored you as father. The prospects of your pupils. How many did you trample upon? How many dreams did you exchange for riches? No matter what it takes. I will bring you to justice! I am ready! You are in the presence of Lord Marwame! On your knees, intruders! I learned much from you, Marwame. In order to see authenticity, one must be dispassionately realistic. With Goemon by my side, I can now ascertain your true self without any reservations. E agora sim. Yusuke Kitagawa se despertou e juntou-se à nossa equipe. O aluno explorado pelo deus da arte Madarame vai mostrar que aquele cara não é tão deus assim. Vamos mostrar para ele do que que você é feito. Yusuke, seja bem-vindo à equipe. Já para começar, 
E vamos usar o Mazio pra conseguir acertar a maioria dos inimigos ali. Agora com a Anne, o Marag também pra acertar a maioria deles junto. E agora o Ryuji. Oh, shit, Slam Hammer, isso daí dá muito dano. Ok, Anne, aguenta as pontas aí. Eu posso aumentar o dano do Yusuke. Eu acho que isso daqui seria o mais inteligente de se fazer, porque ele tem um dano colossal físico nessa habilidade que ele tem por enquanto. Ela não dá a maior chance de crítico, porém, ainda assim... Giant Slice é um dano absurdo pra dar nesse cara, principalmente nesse momento do jogo. Então, vamos só nos aproveitar disso. Usar mais uma vez o Mazio e, meu Deus, aquele cara tá com suco caixa, não é possível. Não dá pra acertar quase nada nele. O, o da direita, eu digo. Mas tudo bem. Ai, meu Deus, para de focar, Ian. Bota as pontas aí, Ian. Vamos lá, Ryuji, mostra pra ele. Meu Deus! Bota suco caixa nisso. Ah, pelo menos o Ryuji também mostrou um pouco de suco caixa, não é? Vamos mostrar um pouco também agora do Bufu. Do Yusuke, porque ele vai ser a nossa maior fonte de dano de gelo por enquanto na equipe Vamos... Ai meu Deus, é impressionante Cara, tem como vocês caírem, ou melhor, você cair Eu quero deixar o final, o golpe final pro Yusuke, sabe? Vamos lá, headbutt, maravilha, Ryuji Bom trabalho, e agora? Melhor impossível, com o crítico eu consigo um Baron Pass pro Yusuke Usar o Taro Kaja e o Baron Pass pra dar o último Giant Slice e finalizar essa Shadow. You say you've just thrown your bright future down the drain. I'll destroy every chance you've ever had of becoming an artist. Matarame. You'll forever rue the day you dared defy me! Get back here! Kitagawa-kun! Why can't I move? Listen, you're totally drained. You can't do much even if you wanted to. What a disgrace I am. Come on, just listen to her. You've known for quite some time, haven't you? I'm no fool. Strange people have been coming by for years. And the plagiarism was an everyday affair. But... Who would want to admit that the man they owed their life to was doing such terrible things? Why didn't you leave, Kitagawa-kun? Well, he is the one who painted the Sayori. On top of that, I owe him a great debt. You mean because he raised you? I never knew my father. I was told my mother raised me by herself, but she died in an accident when I was three. That's when Sensei took me in. I heard he helped my mother while she was still alive. Heard? To be honest, I don't remember much about my mother either. I did everything I could for Sensei. I thought of him as a father, but he changed. To think he would treat the Sayori, the very foundation of his art, like that. A lot's happened to you, huh? When you had mentioned plagiarism, deep down, I knew you were right. That's why I so vehemently denied you. I was simply running from the truth. I'm sorry. Thank you. I'm grateful for the chance to face what I've been denying all this time. You're way too serious, man. That's why you're always getting stuck in your own head. Look at me. I just go with the flow. For real. What are you going to do now? I don't know. We can't help the fact that Madarame's gone and changed. But we can change his heart. We'll make him pay for his crimes. That reminds me, you mentioned something about that change of heart earlier. Have you heard the rumors? The ones about the phantom thieves that steal hearts? <laughs> Don't tell me. Oh crap! We'll talk later. We need to scram! When did my clothes change? You just noticed that now? Save it for after. Let's go! I 
I see. And because of that, this PE teacher's had a change of heart. Phantom thieves who steal hearts. To think they truly exist. No, I believe you. There's no need for common sense to blind me after seeing a world like that. So, your plan with Madarame Sensei, with Madarame, is to force a change of heart, correct? Let me join, as a member of the Phantom Thieves. Had I faced reality sooner, this may have been avoided. I must put an end to this, for the sake of the others whose futures as artists were robbed as well. That is the most civil thing I can do for the man who was, in some manner, my father. Civil, huh? Sounds fine to me. We're gonna deal with Madarame anyways. He may have a mental shutdown if we screw up. We have ways to prevent that, but they aren't fail-safe. Remember how we mentioned this on our way here? Madarame is a man who has the art world under his thumb. He has connections to many organizations. If someone like me raises my voice, it'll only be snubbed out. We have no option but this. Kitagawa-kun? It's a deal, then. We have a new member in the Phantom Thieves now. I hope we get along, Yusuke. You better not slow us down. I'll do my best. Thank you. I ask that you coach me well. Oh, that reminds me. I wonder what's going on with the real Madarame. Yusuke and I were in a pretty tight situation. Actually, I contacted him before we came here. He believes that I continued pursuing Takamaki-san. And, just as you all explained, it appears he knows nothing about his shadow. What did he say? He was complaining to the security company how they couldn't even catch one high school girl. However, he's still furious about it, and said that he's going to take legal action against everyone. Talk about being completely on guard. Legal action? He's acting way too desperate. Maybe he still has more secrets. If he were to act, it'd be after the exhibit is over. Any scandal during the show would be his loss. Right when I think the talk about being a nude model is over, this happens? We'll have to force a change of heart before then, if we're to dodge this legal action thing. Looks like our plan must be accomplished while the exhibit is still open. By the way, what is this? Huh? A cat. But it's talking. You have a problem with that? No, not really. Why not? He's just on a different wavelength than other people. Do you wish to draw me? You better bring out the best of me in that case. Hmm. Hey, don't touch me like... I was thinking of ordering some black bean jelly. I bet he got that idea from a black cat. Oh! I didn't bring any money. Never mind. He's just weird. Hey! É bom você não tá aprontando nada, moleque. Não esqueça que você ainda tá sob condicional. Um passo em falso e você já era. Passo em falso? O que, que tem de errado em mudar o coração de criminosos? Nós estamos fazendo a coisa certa aqui. É, mas ele não sabe, Mona. Ações legais? Cara, isso não é nada bom. Ou nada legal, mas aí ia ser redundante e contraditório. Isso parece problemático. Se a polícia ficar sabendo disso... Nós com certeza vamos estar ferrados na escola. Nós seremos expulsos dessa vez, com certeza. A escola seria o menor dos nossos problemas. Nós vamos acabar sendo presos, ou sei lá, por difamação. E invasão também de né, casa. Acho que significa que não podemos pisar mesmo na bola dessa vez. É, isso é o que realmente importa daqui pra frente. Try to focus on that problem for now. 
Eu não tenho nenhuma outra prioridade aqui no momento, Morgana. Eu tô mais focado do que uma câmera DSLR. E... Piada ruim. Bom, eu espero que vocês estejam ansiosos. No episódio que vem, nós iremos continuar com os acontecimentos que levaram ao Yusuke se despertar e se juntar à equipe dos Phantom Thieves. Cara, esse é um dos meus momentos favoritos do jogo. Junto de muitos outros, é claro. Mas, bem, eu vou encerrar esse episódio por aqui, pessoal. Muito obrigado por assistir. É mais um episódio de Persona 5. Obrigado aos membros Phantom Thief, Ma, Kizuto, Paloma Santos, Rena Mamia, Soratari, Gaspiner, Panda Pop, Lobinho Otaquinha e Sadly. Muito obrigado pelo apoio, pessoal. E eu vejo vocês no próximo episódio de Persona 5 Royal. Reflecting that's a truth It's telling words that to be told I need them man